Ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host, Alex Jones. We're in the middle of the 34-hour broadcast that just started three hours ago with David Knight and the Real News. It's every weekday morning, 8 a.m. I'm Alex Jones. This is the Info War. I'm going to be here for the next four hours. And then I'm coming back tonight, 8 o'clock. But in between then, we've got Leanne McAdoo and Paul Joseph Watson and Owen Schroyer and a bunch of other guests and your phone calls. Something I'm thinking about doing is starting to have Skype calls, segments every day where people can call in uh, on their Skype and be on air with us live that way. Yes, quite a few interesting things we've got in the works here, ladies and gentlemen. There's a lot of positive things happening, obviously. We're going to have some cringeworthy compilations of the left saying Trump would never be president, Madam Hillary, then their meltdown that night, lots of screaming at the sky. No, that's not true. That's impossible. Search your feelings. You know it to be true. <laughs> In fact, uh, that's all coming up. But that said, I've got really serious news here. Quite a bit of it, quite frankly. We have a source who got picked up by the FBI last night. I know who the source is. And he's actually been in the news before and has been a prominent member of the military uh, and the intelligence community. And he is a private contractor now with an, another group. And I could tell he was real calling in the last year or so because of how accurate his information was from my own sources. But then in the last few weeks, I learned who he was specifically. And the FBI came, picked him up two hours after he was on as a caller, took him in to a military facility, and he's there. He's even still got his phone. They took it away and downloaded it and took his laptop and home computer. And they oh, he's got a lawyer now over the information he said on air. Now, obviously, folks, I don't violate national security laws, but as a journalist, you've got some special protections and basically are if it's in the interest of the country uh, and if it, uh, you know, uh, doesn't danger critical infrastructure and all this other uh, verbiage. But he specifically got into Las Vegas and who he believes and who the military sources he talks to believe were involved in it and everything he says matches up with my other sources and research and then he talked about how there was about to be a big shakeup in Saudi Arabia which you saw happen and then he talked about how Yemeni's terrorists have been decapitated with what the Saudi king and the U.S. have done in the last week there's a civil war ongoing and about to be a hot war between Iran and Saudi Arabia well that's in the news but just that the word is Yemeni terrorists are getting ready to strike in Europe and the United States as part of this civil war Within two hours of him saying that, the FBI was at his house, had transcripts and recordings of his last seven or eight phone calls in the last few months here. He'd already been called in a few weeks ago to the military base to be questioned, but he was basically forcibly taken in. He didn't resist it. And I love how I see some commenters on InfoWars or commenters over at Media Matters going, Jones claims he has this source. Yeah, right. Just like we claimed the president told us that he was going to release the JFK files and the next day announced he was. Our sources are real and the media hates it because we're real media and they're fake media. And this is a big deal because the fact that they snatched him up so quick trying to claim that he may have violated his national security clearance shows you they do not want him talking and letting you know what's going on. This is all really, really serious information. Stay with us. What the aging process is, is when the cell replicates, we lose a little bit of our telomeres. Telomeres are the little cups on the end of our chromosomes. Basically. And when it runs that out, you start dying. Secure your DNA force today at InfoWarsLife.com.